So explain how this dust and gas changed to produce a star that's now in a long stable period of energy production, which is basically in its main sequence. Our sun formed from a large cloud of gas and, du and dust, which is a nebula. Hi there, this is a question on the life cycle of stars and specifically from the nebula into a main sequence star. So this is about memorizing and getting in that level of detail in your written answers to make sure you get those marks. Explain how the dust and gas change to produce a star that's now in a long stable period. So it's not asking you for the entire life cycle of a star, importantly. Okay, It is only asking you for the nebula into the main sequence. So don't put any extra information that you don't know. It's a four mark question, so just have a little pause and think about the kind of level of detail that you need to get into this. Well, let's start with the nebula, the gas in space. All that dust and gas in space is all attracted to each other by gravity, okay? So gravity pulls that cloud of gas and dust together. I could just write the nebula. So the word you need to get right to get the mark in there is that gravity does it, okay? The force of gravity pulls the cloud of gas and dust together. Now, what you need to then, what you need to then appreciate is how does the fusion start? So, well, the gravity pushes those things together and they start rubbing together and you get heat. You get high temperature and pressure because of that. It's all the dust and gas is now close together and rubbing together, doing friction, you get high temperature and pressure. And here the mark is for that temperature, high temperature and pressure. And those are the right conditions for nuclear fusion to start, okay? So under the high temperature and pressure, nuclear fusion starts. And this is the period that we call the protostar. So when we've got a cloud of gas and dust and a point in there, or a few points in there sometimes, you've got nuclear fusion beginning to happen. Nuclear fusion is when um, hydrogen and hydrogen bond to make helium. Uh, that is certainly the kind of most basic form of nuclear fusion. And, and energy starts to be liberated, right? So now we just need the detail about the main sequence, the kind of end point of this. Okay, eventually there, there's a kind of balance between this outward force, which we call fusion pressure, and the gravity. Okay, so there is a balance. Now, although we call it fusion pressure, it is in fact a force. Okay, it's just a type of force named fusion pressure. There is a balance between fusion pressure and gravity. Okay, and it's this balance that keeps the... Um, that keeps the star stable. Now I've written probably a little bit more and I'm gonna put brackets main sequence just for you guys more than the examiner, but. So we call that the main sequence of the star. Um, the mark here is for gravity being the thing that pulls the cloud of gas and dust together. The mark is for high temperature and pressure. Okay, that's the conditions needed for nuclear fusion. So fusion starts is the mark there, and there being a balance between two forces. And the other word you can call fusion pressure, you can call it expansion force, okay? Um, or just fusion force radiation pressure, you can call it as well. But there's gotta be a balance between two forces is the important thing there, and that's the reason for it being stable. Okay, what, the thing I'd like to say about this is just that they've asked you for a small part of this like long-winded, life cycle of stars. So you need to have that level of detail. You need to have basically like four marks for each kind of section of that um, life cycle of stars. You need to have a really detailed explanation memorized for your life cycle of stars. Thanks very much, I'm Kit Best Masters and this is Gorilla Physics. I hope that was useful to you. A Gorilla Physics is all about your understanding of physics more so you get more confident and enjoy your physics more and then you're gonna do better in your exams.